What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Looking at some of the in-season recruiting we've got going on, we jump up to number one on Terrence Williams' list there. We're also number one on wide receiver Caleb Henderson's list after leapfrogging Colorado. Marcus Lumpton is going to be visiting us actually, I think next week or the week after that against Idaho State. We're also number one on Will Black's list. We're on top of pretty much everyone's list. In fact, all the guys we are pursuing, we are on top of their list. We're also going after this center as that is the weakest spot on our offensive line. The Bobcats, we're back inside of the top 25, currently ranked number 24 in the nation. And we've got our second game inside of the Big Sky Conference now, as we're going to be squaring off against the Weber State Wildcats after a pretty close game against Northern Arizona. But they are probably going to be our toughest opponents inside of the conference this year. Not necessarily saying it's going to be a cakewalk from here, but... A team like uh, Weber State isn't going to be as good as Northern Arizona, or at least they shouldn't be, but you never know what's going to happen inside of the conference. Montana State is going to start off today's game with the football. We're going to start things out on the ground. Vince Robinson held to just one yard. Larry Lane is our new impact player. We only had two on the team for a little bit, so now it's him, Robinson, and Max Lloyd, our linebacker. On third down, looking for Larry Lane, but back-to-back -back bad passes uh, fall incomplete. We go three and out. Well, Gilbert, five touchdowns to just one interception on the season for him so far, and he's going to connect with his tight end capers on the right side, getting them, getting them out to midfield already. Looking at their top three receivers, Randall's especially good. Almost 300 yards and five touchdowns for him. Jim Lane, also a pretty solid wide receiver, but nobody's going to be catching any passes on this play. That's the true freshman defensive tackle, Brandon Wheeler, working on their freshman center, who's not very good. He's already given up five sacks. Gilbert looking to throw again, and he's got Jim Lane on the left side. That's going to set up third down and short. They have the fullback lined up at running back. It's Williams taking it to the left side. And Dwight Williams with the first down. It's not every day you see an impact player as a fullback. He can also catch passes too, and he does so here, picking up a gain of about three. On second down, once again, he's going to line up in the backfield, and he's going to get another carry, and I think that's going to be three more yards. Now on third down, they come out in the offset eye formation, and Dwight Williams is going to be denied any form of yardage. The offense is going to stay on the field, going for it on fourth down. Glenn Gilbert to the left, and he's got Joe Randall coming up with a big-time catch. That's going to be four consecutive completions for the quarterback now. Another carry for Williams, and he takes it right up the middle. Interesting that he's getting so many carries here, as uh, he wasn't even over 100 yards going into this game, as Graham Olson, their starting running back, was getting most of the carries going into today's game. Meanwhile, this pass is tipped and picked off. Whitaker diving backwards for that one. Holy cow. We had a pretty impressive interception last week that Max Lloyd got us a diving pick, and then this one tipped at the line of scrimmage. Whitaker diving backwards for it and he comes down with it. Here's Tyron Manigat taking it to the left side, picking up a gain of seven for the Bobcats. And this next pass also hits the grass once again. Really bad throw there. Fuller wants to throw again. He's rolling to his right. He's going to stop and fire for Lane. And he had it in his hands, but he got sandwiched between a couple of defenders, and Montana State goes three and out again. Well, the Wildcats have some nice field position here to start off this next drive. And it's another nice run by the fullback. That's going to be a first down for Williams. Jumping into the second quarter now, Dwight Williams once again takes it right up the gut. And the impact fullback with a gain of seven. Now on third down, who else but Williams with the carry. He goes right up the middle, and I think he was just shy of the sticks. Mario Harris brings him down, forcing fourth down and one. And this time they're just going to kick the field goal, even though it's much shorter than their other fourth down from earlier. And maybe they should have gone for it because the kick falls short. So still scoreless here early in the second. Here's a play fake. Kevin Fuller throws off his back foot and throws incomplete yet again. Robinson's going to be getting this carry and he's going to get gobbled up in the backfield. Uh, he's going to lose three yards. 
Now on third and long, Fuller's got time. He's going to move to his right, stops and throws for Washington. He's going to bring it in, runs a defender over and gets across the 50, finally getting a little bit of something going with the passing offense. That's going to get us just inside of Wildcat territory. Fuller connects with Washington again, and that's going to be another first down. Out at the 37 now. Here's more play action. Fuller fires over the middle. And man, he is lucky that pass wasn't picked off. Robinson's going to get this one. He's going to take it to the right side as we get back to the ground game. Runs over a defender and gets out to the 25-yard line. Only 18 yards on the ground so far for the Bobcats. Here's Fuller, and he didn't see him coming. Weber State sends the cornerback blitz. He comes in unblocked and gets the sack. MSU spreading things out on this next play. Going to the end zone. Single man coverage, but Lane can't get up to get it. Once again, we're faced with a third down and long. Firing this one over the middle. Tipped and incomplete. So out comes Gabriel Fields for a 49-yard attempt. Up, and his kick also falls short. Both teams missing a field goal, and we're still scoreless with just over two minutes to go in the quarter. Looking for the third down conversion, but the defense is going to force a three and out. Bobcats are going to get the football right back. Off the play, fake. Fuller fires downfield. He's got Collins across the 30-yard line. The tight end getting some separation there from the linebacker. Great play there by Ben Collins. and Maybe that can really get something going on offense. Fuller looking to throw again. He's going to fire this one over the middle. He's got Washington down the seam all the way out at the five-yard line now. Washington, he's been his favorite target so far this season. He, you know, he's like 6'5", and he's got the best vertical on the team. And now here's a catch made by Robinson, and he's in for the touchdown. Montana State finally gets on the board here. First points we have of this game after what's been a pretty defensive battle. Basically just like a shovel pass. He kind of just pushed it out to him and he gets into the end zone. The Wildcats are going to try to get at least some form of points before the end of the half though. That's Jim Lane on the left side picking up a solid gain and the uh, Weber State uses a timeout. This pass is going to be caught by Randall in the flat, and that's going to be a gain of seven. Weber State calls a second timeout. Gilbert dropping back to throw. Quick throw to the left, and it's going to be broken up. Nice job there by Max Lloyd getting the best of Dwight Williams. They're just one for five on third down today. They're looking for another conversion, but Williams is not going to get it. Fourth down and two, and the Bobcats are going to use a timeout. Less than a minute to go, and we're going to try to do something downfield. But instead, we make a terrible interception. That is just a rookie mistake, or maybe a freshman mistake, I guess. Just a terrible, terrible decision off his back foot right to the linebacker. Giving Weber State some great field position, and they're going to immediately capitalize on it. Graham Olsen fighting his way into the end zone. Nice option play here. Great play called by Weber State. And it just takes them one play to capitalize off the interception. Only 30 seconds left to go, and the Bobcats are kind of content just going to halftime, except they get a pretty nice run right there, picking up a quick first down. So now Fuller fires this one over the middle, and it's going to be right off the hands of Washington. He's been great this season, but he's not perfect. 13 seconds, 12 seconds left. Fuller's going to run for it on third. Down gets across the 50, steps out of bounds at the 45. Eight seconds left to go now, going five wide. Fuller floats this one to the end zone. It's going to be caught by Lane, but he's going to get brought down at the one. Bobcats use their final timeout. Holy cow, did Weber State get lucky there that he was inches shy of the end zone. So instead of getting six, we're gonna just gonna have to settle for three fields, splits the uprights, and that's gonna give Montana State the lead at halftime. If you guys have been enjoying today's game so far, leaving a like would be very much appreciated. Meanwhile, Weber State's gonna be starting off the second half with the football. Glenn Gilbert over the middle has got Jim Lane, and that's gonna be a nice play to start off the second half. Olsen in the backfield, and he's going to get the carry. Takes it to the left. Wheeler hunts him down after picking up five. 
Now out of the eye, it's gonna be a play fake. Gilbert's got time and floats this one right side, and it's gonna be caught! Jim Lane with another big catch. That's the eighth time we've forced a hurry, but we haven't really forced any bad decisions really from Gilbert so far today as he connects with one of his favorite receivers on the right side there. Williams with the carry, cuts it back to the left, and he gets brought down in the backfield. Now on second down, he's going to line up at tailback. Gilbert's going to take this one. It's going to be an option play here. Williams gets away from the first two defenders, and he's got eight yards. It's third down now. Dwight Williams with the carry. He's going to get spun around and picks up just enough to move the chains. Here's another carry for Williams. Runs right into a pile of defenders and ultimately gets brought down for a loss of four. Second and goal. Gilbert looking to throw. Fires this one left side. And he has his pass broken up by Orts. Third down for the Wildcats. Looking to take the lead. Gilbert is going down. Sacked on the play. And they're going to be forced to settle for a field goal as it's fourth down and goal from the 18. This one a little easier than their earlier attempt. And it's going to split the uprights. We're all tied up at 10 apiece. Bobcats taking over again just across the 20. Fuller trying for a quick pass, but the offensive line couldn't even hold a block for that long there. Now Fuller doing an option play. The ball's on the ground, though. Not the best time to pitch it out, but we still do pick up four. Now Fuller looking for the third down conversion. He's moving to his left. She's, he thought about throwing at the, at the last second there, but he couldn't because he got past the line of scrimmage. And we're going to go three and out. Glenn Gilbert now firing over the middle, and they caught the Bobcats in zone coverage there. We primarily do play man, at least inside of the conference, because that's what works better, but he found the hole in the zone on that play. And then on the very next play after that, Dwight Williams picks up a first down. But they're going to enter the fourth quarter on third down, and the pass is going to fall incomplete. And once again, they're going to have to settle for a field goal pretty similar to their last one. But this is going to give them their first lead of the game. So now they're going to be kicking this one off. It's going to go to the left side, meaning Lane's going to return it. It's going to be about at her own two or three yard line. What a mistake by Lane. Just let it bounce. Oh my goodness. Instead, we're pinned pretty far back in our own territory. Luckily, Tyrone Manigat gets us a little bit of breathing room. Play action now. Fuller's going to float this one to the right side. Looking for Martin, and he can't bring that one in. Probably should have been a bullet pass there. Fuller now on the quarterback draw, makes a move, takes this one to the left side, but he has the ball ripped out. Weber State recovers it, and they've got some fantastic field position yet again. Second turnover of the game by the Bobcats. Looking to capitalize off the turnover. Gilbert fires this one right side. He's got Sims, and that's going to pick up five or six yards. Now on second down, Glenn Gilbert looking to throw again. Floating this one to the end zone. What a beautiful pass to Graham Olsen. Right over the linebacker and into the bread basket. And with just over four minutes left to play, Weber State takes a 10-point lead. Bobcats looking to quickly rebound from that. Here's a direct snap to Robinson trying to get the corner and he does here picking up a solid gain of about 8 or 9 yards and there's a Weber State defender injured on the play. Going 5 wide on 2nd down. Fuller moving to his left. Doesn't have anyone open but he does have an open running lane. He's going to take it across the 50. Steps out of bounds but not until he gets into Wildcat territory. Here's another option play getting out to Robinson. Nice stiff arm there. Makes a move and that's four or five yards. It's second down now. Fuller quickly moving to his left and once again left unaccounted for. First down yardage and more pushed out of bounds at the 25 yard line now. 63 yards on the ground for the quarterback. This pass is going to be floated to the right side. Brown comes down with it. Great pass by Kevin Fuller. He got hit pretty hard as he let that one go. Now goal to go. Touchdown, Larry Lane. The impact receiver makes a great catch there. Just a quick curl route, and uh, he was ready for it there. Great throw by Fuller, and we pull within three. 
Here's a carry by Williams. Runs a defender over. He's got a first down, but then the ball stripped. Montana State recovers it. And now we've got all the momentum going our way. Cameron Whitaker coming up with another big defensive play. Looking to take the leader at the very least. Tie the game up now. Robinson's going to take this one to the right side. But now he loses the football. Picked up by Huff. He's going to return it. The 20, the 10. Washington can't catch him. That's going to be a Weber State scoop and score. And what, just when it felt like we had all the momentum going our way, we're back down by 10 again. Here's a shot to the left side for Larry Lane, though. In open space in the last line of defense does catch him. But Montana State needed a big play. We're going to need a couple more since we're down two scores right now. Fuller fires this one downfield for Robinson right in his hands. But he got sandwiched again. That's the second time that's happened today. And this one even more brutal than the first. So instead, it's going to be second down. Fuller under some pressure, and he goes down. The offensive line just got beasted on there. If you haven't noticed, our left guard is 5'5". I did not edit that. He's, he's actually 5'5". I don't know how. He's actually a pretty solid guard, though. Meanwhile, firing this one downfield. Lane has the touchdown. Holy cow. Once again, single man coverage. And that's worked for us two out of three times today. Probably more like three out of four times today. Just going single man coverage. Larry Lane, he's an impact player making impact plays. So once again, the Bobcats pull within three. But the defense has got to get us a stop. That's going to be a gain of four there by Williams. On second down, Williams is going to get another carry. Brought down in the backfield by Jesse Schrouder. MSU burns a timeout. It's third down. It's going to be a play fake here. Firing this one left side. Randall couldn't hold on to it. Holy cow. What a hit by Cameron Whitaker. That was clutch because if he caught that, it could have been game. So now, less than a minute to go. Can Kevin Fuller lead us on a game-winning or game-tying drive? Here he connects with Washington, and that's going to be a first down, getting us just across the 50. Hurrying up to the line of scrimmage. Fuller, flush to his right. He's going to take off and run. Gets out of bounds and stops the clock after picking up six. Looking for the conversion. Fuller, now flush to his left this time. He's going to stop and fire downfield. Brown comes back for it inside of the 20. He's all the way out to the 15-yard line, and the Bobcats use their second timeout. 17 seconds left to go. Fuller takes the snap, and he's going down. Weber State sent the blitz. Second down and 20. Montana State looking to hurry things up with only one timeout left. We'd rather win in regulation than have to settle for overtime, but we're not going to risk it. Bring out the field goal unit. So Fields from 42 yards out to tie the game up. And he's got it. We're going to overtime at 27 apiece. Montana State getting right back into this game after being down by 10 points in the fourth quarter multiple times. So down to midfield. Once again, we're going to go with Tails. And once again, it fails us. Weber State's going to choose to go on defense. So we're going to have the ball first. Here's a run by Manic. Get to start off overtime. Breaking this one to the left side. Huge run here. 20 yards on the first play of overtime by Tyrone Manic. Great job getting the corner there and just working his way down the sidelines there. Great run. Almost got him into the end zone. Now goal to go. Fuller fires right side. Washington was open. And for some reason, he had to duck for that one despite being 6'5". That would have been an easy touchdown. Now Fuller rolling to his right, doesn't have anyone open, he's not going to force it, and he picks up a couple yards. Third and goal, Fuller now moving to his left, once again has nobody open, but he has a running lane, and he has a Bobcat touchdown. A four-yard rushing score now for Kevin Fuller, putting together a great game today. So now Weber State looks to match it. Here's a run by Williams, and he's not going to pick up much. Looking for a third down conversion now. Glenn Gilbert looking to throw. Dropping back to pass. He's got time, but he steps up right into a sack. Mario Harris with a huge play there. Forcing fourth down and 13. 
So here we go. Game on the line. Can MSU's defense hold on? Or do they have a play left in them? No, they do not. The pressure forces an incomplete pass. And Montana State holds on to this victory. 34-27. Bring out the Gatorade. Give Coach Choate the Gatorade bath. Definitely too close for comfort. I thought this game was going to not be as close. I was, expect yeah, I was expecting we're a much better team than Weber State on paper. So probably should have performed better. But we do have a freshman quarterback he is vulnerable to making mistakes and whatnot. But once again, he keeps getting better every game. I would say this is probably the best game he's put together so far. Uh, we're going to take a look at his stats in a minute. But he played pretty good today. Team as a whole played pretty good. Defense played solid, although in the second half we kind of did bend. Almost 300 yards for Fuller, though. Three touchdowns, one dumb interception, and 42% completion percentage isn't great. 53 yards for Manic, get almost half of those coming in overtime on that one big run, and then Fuller, 52 yards on the ground for him, and a touchdown. Paul Washington, 69 yards. Larry Lane went off for almost 150 yards and two touchdowns. There's a reason he's an impact player now. Brown and Collins each came down with some big catches too. Offensive line played solid today, but they did give up a couple of bad sacks. Uh, Pat Hadley, two TFLs for him. Brandon Wheeler also had two TFLs and a sack. Hadley, Wheeler, and Harris all got sacks. And then Cameron Whitaker with an interception and a fumble recovery. And then when it came to kicking, Gabriel Fields played solid two for three, and he hit all of his extra points. Sacramento State gets a big win here over the Grizzlies, 49-31. Northern Arizona bounces back after we defeated them last week against uh, Idaho State this week now. And now Portland State gets the win over Idaho, 24-17. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, that'd be very much appreciated if you left a like on the video. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.